What's going on everybody? Rob here, aka Triv2323, TRAV2323. TRAV2323. Subscribe, like, and share. I got a surprise here for you battery lovers. For one, let me show you this. So I bought these because I, I have a DALI BMS hooked up to my batteries right now. 14 strings LG Chempex. I'm gonna buy some more. So I bought these little 18 and 22 gauge shrink tubes so I could weld and shrink together the new 14S BMS that I got. See, they're just little shrink tubes because what I'm planning on doing is, you know where the wires are that come out to each individual cell to the BMS that you gotta put the rings on? I'm gonna cut them one by one from the connector so I know each individual string and put them to the new, yes, the new and improved BMS. Let me get this out here, right here. Smart Active BMS. I bought this off of eBay. Uh, uh, 0.6 amp balance, continuous current 100 amps, uh, peak current 200 amps. Now these are active BMSs. Oh, you see, I made this into a, a, a boot holster instead of the one I wore for my belt. But this BMS right here is a programmable BMS. Therefore, let me show you, let me open it up here. <sighs> bah, bah, bah. And another thing, I, I ordered this from eBay from a California distributor and it has complete how to hook it up and troubleshooting in English. So this is really important to me on that I got all the directions and instructions on how to hook it up in English. So here's the unboxing. Bom, bom, bom. Check this out. You ever see this for a BMS? An on and off button. So many people have problems just turning their BMS on and off. This BMS comes with an on and off button. How cool is that? Okay. This is the BMS. Here are the, uh, the balance leads. Okay. So I think this one does up to a 24S connection. So there's the balance lead, 20, oh wow, these balance leads are super long also. That is awesome. I've never seen balance leads this long. So this is super awesome, okay? But it has, those are your one negative, which is your number one, and then you go two, three, four, five. So I got my 14 that's on the battery right now. I'm gonna cut the balance leads and then I'm gonna put the little connections I got to the balance leads together because my ba my batteries are stacked opposite. So this way, just from the balance leads itself, I could just put these together in it. And then on my, what is it? On the 14th one, I believe it comes to the last one. Okay, so either way, that's gonna be a whole different thing installing this BMS. Now this is the piece of resistance. The P's the resistance right here. Here is the DALI BMS, a 0.6 amp active balancer. Okay, I don't know what happened, shut off there. But this is the one thing that I didn't like. Okay, so these right here are gonna be your sensors, your heat sensors, two of them. And that's actually longer leads than the DALI also. It's longer leads than the DALI. But the good thing is these are soldered on. On some of your BMSs, you gotta solder these on. But there's two of them. So basically, I'm gonna put these in the end together in a copper end and these in a copper end together. It got your P minus and your B minus. Uh, one goes to the net, your main negative in the battery, and then it goes in between this with the balance leads to the positives. And then the other one, I'm not sure which one it is right now, goes to your battery because if this sense is overheating in your batteries or if these sense that they're not discharged or not balanced with lithium ion, which I got, if you overcharge a lithium ion battery, it can blow up, it can catch fire and it'll be, it's a runaway train. You can't die out of lithium battery fire. So this is the uh, JK BMS. So with the phone, if you take a picture of this, you actually could download the app. So I already download the app, so it should be able to Bluetooth to this. 
So now tomorrow we're gonna wire this up, but it'll be in this video right here, all right? But it's gonna be tomorrow. Talk to you later. Subscribe, like, and share. All right, so this is my old Dally BMS. This is my new JK BMS thumbnail. Okay, so you see this one did come with the little connectors for the B minus and P minus, and this one's B minus and P minus also. Uh, you gotta remember where they go. This has the Bluetooth dongle. This is built-in Bluetooth. Uh, what I did do is I did run to O'Reilly's and I just bought some new copper battery connectors right here, $4. Some more screws to connect them together and some shrink tubes. Now you could go ahead and buy all the professional stuff to put these on right here. Uh, I didn't know, I really, I really did not know the bigger stuff like this isn't supposed to be heated. It's supposed to be crushed and they got the professional circle ones. I'm gonna use my sledgehammer and my vise and my whatever. So I'm gonna go put these on right now. Now look how professional that looks. Beep, 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 beep. Put them on both of them. I got the ring big enough because they're pretty thick wires. And I just hit it down with my vise, not my vise, my anvil and a hammer on both sides. So these leads are good, okay? I was actually gonna braid them with this thin copper wire and then solder all that together because I didn't have this right stuff here but I said you know what let me run to O'Reilly's and go get those now these are the balance leads right here and this is actually marked where everything goes okay so since I'm running a 14 BMS I believe I'm gonna need this one because you see here there's a gap between there between 20 and here the last wire the last string like you know you only go through your your negative then one two three four all the way to 14 because i got a 14 battery well all the way the last one is actually considered a positive so it's gonna have to go to string number 14 on this right here so i love how long these balance leads are that is pretty amazing so let me see how st many strings are here there's a negative then there's one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve there's 14 on the first one so all these are going to get connected just like on my other one and then these are going to be plugged in to the bms through uh, like through b23 through b23 this is going to get plugged in like it's to b23 but this last 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 wire is gonna be with number 14 on this. So that's why, let me get some of this out of here. This is why I bought all these because I don't wanna take all the rings off of every little piece on the battery. I don't wanna have to go through each side of the battery, take off every ring and re -solder, make new ones of these. So I bought these because I'm gonna put them in together and melt them together with a heat gun. And then, so I'm gonna have like some extra long balance leads or I could cut the other ones further back. So I'm gonna start, I'm gonna clean up up here and then we'll go downstairs and we'll start doing the balance leads. Now, before I throw this dally away, I'm gonna cut this off, I'm gonna cut this off and then we'll take it apart in another video because I save whatever copper I could, if there's any copper rings or copper around here, I'm gonna take all the copper out of this before I throw it away. Okay, so let me learn you something right here. We're in the basement. There's a go out inverter. Here's the 14s battery This is about the batteries in the JK BMS I'm going to rewire all this. This is not where it's going to be that used to be in the cooler down there till uh, I had a problem with the NMC connectors first That were going out weren't letting any power through so I bypassed the NMC connectors. That's why these look this looks like that and then I troubleshot it, I bypassed the 70 amp breaker. So now I'm gonna connect all that right even before I do this. But these are the old BMS leads for a 14S Dally BMS. The negative goes to the negative of the battery. Then each one of these positives goes to each side of the battery. You see the spaghetti wires? Here's a positive on this side, a positive on that side, a positive, this side, a positive on that side, all the way up to 14. So what I'm going to do, since I know this has to be wired the same way, the exact same way as this one, I'm going to cut these one by one and fuse them together with this one by one. 
so I'm gonna start by getting this prepped I don't have any more NMC connectors but I am gonna put the breaker back into it and then since this is a 14s and this is a new 14s these should all just be one by one clip and fuse to exact this directly matched directly but this last one this 14th one I got to remember to put that last string of the BMS onto this now here's the main positive coming out of the battery and then there's the main negative coming out of the battery this main positive bypassed that right now when I was troubleshooting so the main positive is going to go back over here now the main negative right here the main negative goes directly to the one side of the BMS and then out of the BMS you go to the main negative right here so I'm going to get this connected right right now all right, so I did not find, let me try to get the light down there. I did not find a bolt for that. So I got an alligator clip on tomorrow. Apparently I lost the clip. So I gotta take this screw off tomorrow and go to probably Ace to buy one of these to get one for, to match for both sides of this. So the negative is right down here. The negative's not connected to anything as a matter of fact. I'm gonna go ahead and this is the negative for the grow watt right here. This is the negative for the grow watt right here. This is the battery negative right here that I am going to tape up. Here's the hot for the negative and it goes to right there through the breaker into the grow watt. Now this is the old, this is the old Dally uh, uh, connection to every positive of this battery right here this is the new connections for the new jk and here's the shrink tubes so i'm going to do the negative first where's that to the negative and then each one two three four each one let me put this on do the negative first cut the negative attach it to this negative cut one to one two to two three to three all the way till i do all 14 of them shrink tube them with these okay no turning back now we're gonna do one wire at a time these are connected to the battery starting with the negative wire this is going to the main negative of the battery and you have to have it go to your bms these are tiny wires see that's the main negative and here's the bms wire so I'm going to grab the main negative of the BMS wire. Give myself a little bit more wire on here. And get a shrink tube. And before I finish with this, I'm going to test each one of these cells. Now the shrink tube is going to go, make sure I got the wire all the way through the copper. And on this side, make sure I got all the wire through the copper hard to see actually and when you're shrinking these tubes don't heat your battery uh, yowza all right that's how it's going to be done now i'm going to do each individual cell so now that was number one so if we take the number two red it's going to exactly match the number two on this or the number one battery actually it's the number one battery so if we take the number one battery right here next to the negative it's going to completely match this one right here so you see what i'm doing here i'm just going to do that 14 times all right before anybody comments i redid that first shrink tube and I started twisting them together before I shrank them. Put it all the way through right here. Pull it through on the other end. I'm on string five right now. Then I twisted them together. And then I pulled them back through the shrink tube. Right to the center of where the uh, lead is. The solder. And then I melted them together right there. You gotta be careful with these lithium ion cells because they are dangerous. 
So that's how they're shrunk.